people, 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 people. Ke pasa sak pa se what they do. Now people, I have come to the conclusion that Jamaica is one big madhouse, Bellevue Central. And I am speaking specifically about the driving, lack of common sense, foolishness, nana head type of mentality by these people on the road. Now people, in about 24 hours at least, three bad ACCIDENTS. Two car lick up head on, obviously because of YouTube's policy. I cannot show that. If you want that video, you can WhatsApp me 1 876 894 2711. However, I am going to show you the perfect example of exactly what I am speaking about. May I talk about two truckers? One of them look like some sorts of delivery truck, commercial vehicle, and then the next one, a chicken truck. Both of them were going different directions on the same road. However, the road is very narrow. So whenever the road is narrow and you have a big truck, you figure the sensible thing to do is drive slowly, be very patient, so therefore you can get to where you are getting to. Very safe, don't lose your life, don't take with other people's life, don't injure other people. However, people, not these two truckers and people, I don't know who was wrong. However, me just I say, this is the next perfect example of chupiness on the road. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. It's gonna reach me now, man, you know. But, uh, gotcha. yeah, man. It's rich me now, man, you know. Oh, oh, road block, huh? uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, space. So where's the full truck? You can't come, so I don't understand. Full truck, full truck. I don't understand. Come on. Come on. I mean, I don't understand. So people, like them say, a picture is worth a thousand words. This video, a gazillion word. It says it all. No other explanation. Now people, it is obvious that I am a person that is always on the road based on the video, the background videos. And I think I've seen about everything else all sorts of people flip over all sorts of nonsensical a c c i d e n t s well not really a c c i d e n t s a lot of stuff that is caused by stupidity pretty much if people did have common sense if people just follow the protocols if people weren't so impatient I see all sorts of people a pass 18 wheeler a go around a blind corner where they don't know who is coming. They are assuming that it is going to be okay. Now people like them say, whenever you assume you make a ASS out of you and me, well not me, them and them. So people, like we say, there's a whole bunch of persons on the road that basically buy them license. There's a whole bunch of persons that can't read and even worse, a whole bunch of people will have zero sense, zero common sense. So that is exactly what happens, point blank and period. Now before I move to the next part of my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. The next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the smugglers, the hustlers in Jamaica, they are always coming up with all sorts of innovative way to buck the system. However, at the end of the day, the system always wins. It is said that authorities in America, Customs Border Protection, CDP, they have smashed, smashed a cocoa ring coming from Jamaica to a couple of cities in America, states in America. Now people, based on the information, this is the details. It is said that what these people do, they are sending gift packages. In these gift packages, 
you have a thermos, insulated thermos. You have them herbal tea. You have some spices. And you have all sorts of ointments. We know that Jamaica, there's a great demand for Jamaican products overseas. So therefore, their frame of thoughts is that, alright, if we take these insulated cups, you know that insulation is mostly white and foam, and we replace that white foam insulation with the real cocoa, these people are not going to realize. However, what these fools did not realize is that these X-ray machine, New Wave 2022 models, what they check for, they check for density. Every element, everything have a different density. Maybe cocoa in the rock farm, a different density from the regular S-N-I-F-F-I-N-G cocoa. However, those machines, they can detect it very easily. As a matter of fact, some of these machines, they can even sniff it. There is all sorts of detection for all sorts of chemical component. So therefore, when man a plan, God a wipe out. The immigration, the customs, border patrol, they are on everything. They are finding a way to keep ahead of the competition, be it the smugglers. So here is the deal. On or about March 10th, 2022, they did a check. They intercepted a package coming from Montego Bay. Upon further review of its contents, they realized that there were four thermos, souvenir thermos. When they opened them, take them apart after the machine realized, they found in excess of 200 grams of cocoa in each of them. Four in the package, the gift package, estimated value, 70,000 US. Now people, if my maths serve me right, 200 and something grams equal a quarter lakh, four cup, four quarter, one lakh. So therefore, are you telling me that each lakh is worth $70,000 in America? Well, probably not the wholesale, I guess, when you break it down in a quarter, one eight, big eight. People in the game knows exactly what I am speaking about. I guess that street value is $70,000. However, that is neither here nor there. Now, people, it is said that upon further check, they realize that there were also three other packages from that same sender, same sort of setup, same sorts of characteristics. Needless to say, they were also intercepted. These were headed to New York, Cincinnati, and also Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So people, four of them get popped one time. So people, do the maths. Four packages, 70,000 each times four, 280,000 US dollar, one pop. Do the maths and tell me how much that is. We are talking about maybe about 40, 50 million Jamaican one time. Now people, obviously, this is not the first time that these people are trying this. However, it is going to be the last time somebody tries any sorts of stunt like this. Unless, of course, you are naive and you pretty much want a one-way ticket to the federal institution, Club Fed. Now, people, here is a deal for those of you that have dreams and aspirations of bucking the system. You are not going to beat the system. You might beat the system for a few. However, like I've always said, don't be pennywise and pound foolish. That means don't get a couple thousand dollars worth of gains, ill-gotten gains, only to lose your life, only to end up in one of those fine federal institutions for any sorts of 
prolonged amount of time, meaning a couple of decades. Whatever it is that you try, these people are professional. These people, them think about all possible way that you can beat the system. So therefore, if you're going to tell them, say, may I send some microwave, go to America, they're going to say, why would somebody send microwave filled with cocoa inside to America when microwave so cheap? So I just I say, don't be a dodo head. Don't be a J-A-C-K-A-F-S. Everything and anything where you're going to try, them people are done already sit down and map it out because they are DEAD sets that they are not going to make because you want to make some money. You want to build all sorts of mansion in America. You come and turn all of them people in all sorts of C R A C K H E A D S. People don't get it twisted. If you are not a part of the cartel, if you are not a part of the system that is spending big money, these little things where you try to swallow all sorts of capsule and send all sorts of insulated mug thermos go America with all sorts of cocoa, it na go work. So therefore, look a work or else you're going to get work in the workhouse, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.